Hey Sparkly Vixens, how are you babies doing? I am doing well. So now, guys, I have been so busy editing new videos and photos and stuff, guys. Ugh, I would have had this video edited sooner and posted sooner, but I was feeling very at it. I caught a really bad cold. I was sick, so I had to upload the Team You video. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a few misses in there, but it was some nice, you know, it was not, it was some good hits and some misses, but I hope you guys like it. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Pinup Savvy Monroe. I do retro hauls, retro tutorials, vintage hauls, vintage tutorials. That is a niche on this channel. So please hit like and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell so you vixens can get more updates when I upload more videos. Now, onto the good part. This is a vintage home antique haul. I wanted to show you guys all the nice, cute, beautiful antiques that I have that I'm decorating my home with. And I just wanted to show you guys all the, you know, antiques that I am going to be putting around my home. But first, I wanted to, you know, I thought this would be a cool video to show you guys. I don't really have a lot of antique home decor. I mean, you guys see me do two home decors. And, uh, well, two moving. Well, when I moved into my last apartment, you guys was there for that. But I haven't did a home decor in a long time. So, I wanted to do this vintage home decor. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, Vixens, first I want to show you guys this mirror. This is an Ormolu mirror. I got this off of eBay like a few, a while back, but I wanted to, you know, include it in this haul, but I use this to put my makeup on and it lights up, guys. This is 50 years old and I have been, I had this for a while. It's really beautiful. It reminds me of this light Dorothy Gandridge had and on her vanity in the, introducing Dorothy Dandridge movie so when I seen this Ormolu mirror I just had to have it and yeah I like that you know it still has the original everything on this mirror like it hasn't been altered or anything but I got this off of eBay and I got this for a good price I think I got this for like 30 bucks but it was worth it because Ormolu is or Armalu or Ormolu it is very very expensive so look that up if you guys go on eBay and if you're looking for a mirror like this, then, you know, eBay will be like your best bet or Etsy. It really depends. Now, next Vixens is this cake set, knife set. I got this off of eBay. I thought it was really cute. I love the floral details on it. And I thought this was very pretty, you know, whenever I get married, I would love to use this, you know, as a... a you know just as a decor or to cake you know cut the cake with but it has like floral detail all on it and i thought it was very beautiful i wanted to include it into the video but i think you know this uh vintage cake set is pretty i got this off of ebay guys ebay is like your best friend when it comes to certain things things you think you may not find you could find on ebay but i got all this from ebay and i think that it is really cute and pretty. Um, I did see a couple of more sets of just like this or similar on eBay. So you guys can look for yourself. And yeah, let me know what you think about this knife set. All right, next is this uh, cake stand. I thought this was so pretty. It's like clear pink. It is depression glass. I don't know if you guys know what depression glass is, but this is what it is. It's really pretty and it has like floral detail. And I like the noise it makes. It's like soothing to me when I listen to it. But um, yeah, it's giving me ASMR vibes. I don't know why when I do that. But um, yeah, I like this. It is really pretty, guys. I always wanted a cake stand. And I have never had one. So it's going to be so cool to have one. You know, I've seen, one of, I've seen this in my aunt's house. Like her cake, she had a, a few cake stands. And I've seen some in her house. But I've never seen one that like this so i thought it was really cool to have one but yeah what do you guys think of this cake stand isn't it pretty tell me tell me guys what y'all think about it all right vixens now i won't necessarily call this like an antique or anything but i am um building a bar in my house so i thought about getting this um bar decor this is just decor 
for my bar is Centenero Plata Tequila. So that's what I got. I like, it just gives me Art Deco vibes. So when I seen this bottle, it was giving me Art Deco. So that's why I got the bottle. I just bought the bottle. I, it didn't have any liquor in this, but I got this off of eBay and I thought it was so pretty to put on my bar because it's gonna be Art Deco. So I thought this would have been really cute. But um, do you guys have a bar in your house? And if y'all do, do y'all like use bottles and stuff for like decor, like uh, planters and stuff like that? Let me know. All right, Vixen, so this I got me like a mail organizer. I really wanted something vintage looking. So this says letters out and then it says letters in. And so like when I'm done, if I have to mail something, I'll put it the letters out and new letters i put them letters in but i thought this was really pretty and cute what do you guys think about it you can either hang it up or you can put it like you can sit it on the table or something i'm sorry that's my cat <laughs> but um i thought this was really really cute and i wanted to um include this into the haul so what do you guys think do you guys have any mail organizers let me know all right, Vixens, now the next thing I have is this. This is like basically where you could put cookies on, crackers, cheese, meats, and stuff when you're having, you know, company over. <laughs> I don't know why my cat just decides she wants to play in my video, but uh, yeah, there's that. Um, I thought this would have been really cute <laughs> just to, you know, include in the video. And I thought this would be really cute to, you know, have, you know, when I have guests over. And I thought this was really pretty, guys. Look at the detail on the front. And this is the detail on the back. But I thought it was really cute. And yeah. Do y'all guys have any of these type of things? Um, I forgot what they're called. They're, these sell on Amazon. I forgot what they're called, but I wanted a vintage one to fit my, you know, my vibe. So I thought this would have been really, really cute. Plus it's heart shaped and it's pretty to me. So I thought this was cute. But um, yeah, this is like a little serving tray that you know people can you know get their little snacks. You could put snacks on. So tell me what you guys think about this like cute little heart serving tray. It's really big and it's heavy guys. Like this has some weight on it. And I just like that. I love the detail of it. It's so pretty. So I had to get this for myself. All right, Vixens, now this is not necessarily antique or vintage, but I did get these at uh, Salvation Army. So I thought these would have been cute to put around my house, but they remind me of depression glass. It's candles. These still smell so good. I got about three. I found three of them there, so I was able to get all of them. But this is how they look. And... One of them is Freesia and Lily. This one is You're My Sweetheart. And then this one is Sunburst Yuzu. And I thought these was really cute, guys. And they're just like depression glass, heart-shaped candles. And I love heart-shaped anything. So I had to get this, Vixens. But um, yeah, do you guys like, after the candle burns out and the wax is gone, I'm going to still keep the uh, depression glass because I think it is so pretty and cute. But what do you guys think about this? These are so pretty, right? They remind me of Valentine's Day. So I had to get like all of them. But these are so cute. I really like them. And they smell really good for them. I don't know who gave these away, but <laughs> thank you for giving them away because these are so pretty and cute and they smell so good. All right, next Vixens is this whiskey decanter. I thought it was so cute and pretty. I found this at the Salvation Army at a thrift store, antique store, so I thought it was cute. And plus it has like the little cork in it. So I thought this would be a nice decor item on my bar, but I like the decanter. Plus it has the illusion of having these ridges, but they're really, it's really smooth. So I really liked the decanter and yeah, it is, I don't know who it's by, but it just says whiskey on it. But I thought this was really cute. Tell me, tell me what you guys think about this decanter. All right, Vixens, now next is these towels, guys. I had to give me some vintage towels. Oh, I had to give me some vintage towels. I thought they were so cute. 
this is how it looks one of them looks i love the decor on this floral towel and i remember my aunties and my grandma having towels like this but theirs was a different color you know me i wanted some pink ones this is how one of the other towels look like it's bigger than the last one but this came in a set and I was able to snag this off of eBay, but this came in a nice set. And I like that it has like a different color pattern. So this is lighter and then this one is darker. So I like the color pattern of this. And yeah, it came, I got this set. Well, this came in a set. And then I got like another set, this uh, set right here. Now this is by, martex so these are 1950s towels so i got this color and yeah i got two of these that's how that looks and then it came with this one right here this big this big towel and i know there's like bathroom decor towels so that's most likely what i'm gonna do with these i'm not gonna necessarily wash myself or dry off with these these are just gonna be like decor so i wanted to have like a really retro pink bathroom so i'm going to use this as the core and then this one right here this came oh this came with the other set I, sh I showed you guys but you know it still has the same pattern as the other two towels so yeah this is like just the core you know to show in my bathroom and then i have a big big pink one and it has like the same like ridges and stuff like the same pattern floral pattern on it so I thought this was really cute and I was just like I love vintage towels like they're the patterns is so beautiful they don't make towels like this no more and I really wish they start making these again but um that uh that set this set is by Martex I don't know what the set is by it doesn't really I don't think it says what the set what is by but um yeah that one set is by martex and these has no name so i don't i can't even tell you dolls um but um i do recommend checking ebay and etsy for these type of towels they have plenty of them there. Hi, vixens next is this uh decor light fan i got right here it is it reminds me of art deco guys when i seen this i had to have it for myself this is what the back looks like and this is what the front looks like. I had to have it for myself. I've been really into like Art Deco, 1930s, 19. Like I just kind of want to mix up eras. Like I want to have, have some 30s, some 50s, some 40s, burlesque I I don't know why, renaissance -y, angelic, Aphrodite type of vibe. Like that is the type of decor i want around my house i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but that's what i want but i had this i had to get this lamp guys i got this off of ebay for only ten dollars guys these retail for 60 to 70 dollars but i got this for 10 and i couldn't pass this up this is so pretty like look at the decor and this is the lampshade and you guys should see how it looks at night but this is so pretty what do you guys think of this all right, Vixens, the next thing I have is this Angelic Cherub Vase. Guys, I got this off of eBay as well. This is so pretty. I got this for a steal. This only cost me like $11 to $12. This was a steal, and these run $60. Bucks. So anything this huge runs $60, bucks, but I had to get this. I thought it was so pretty, and I love cherubs. I noticed I've been collecting a lot of cherub things lately, but... I thought this was so pretty and beautiful and it's very heavy guys like it's it's heavy like the weight of this is heavy so i thought this is so pretty and i had to get this for myself i thought that hmm you know i could put this on like my one on um, one of my tables on the nightstand and add some beautiful flowers to it or something but what do you guys think of this vase do you guys have like cherub decor around your homes let me know all right, next Vixens, I got this glass candy tray. I thought this was so adorable. I found this at the Salvation Army, and this is how it looks. And this is the top. I thought this was so cute. Anything with hearts, I just wanna have, but this is so pretty. Like, I had to get this. I'm gonna put this on my um, coffee table and have like candies, 
inside of it when people come to visit you know just to have a little sweet treat but um this is how it looks and i thought this was really cute to have so yeah but yeah this is so beautiful to me all right vixens next is this ice tray and i mean ice tray this is an ice bucket and guys th this sucker is very he uh, heavy i thought this would have been perfect to have and pretty to have you know you know when i'm serving ice i don't want no regular ice tray you guys know i'm extra so i had to get this i thought this was very pretty and beautiful but what do you guys think of this do you guys have anything like that around your houses like I, I love, I've been such into home decor. I love home decor. I'm surprised I haven't made that into a career because that's how much I love home decor. But I thought this was very pretty and I had to have it for myself. What do you guys think of this? And next Vixens is a swan planter. I thought this was so cute. I could put like something in it. I don't know exactly what I will put in this, but I think I'll just have this as decor around the house. But in my living room, I thought this one looked so pretty and cute, and I got this at an antique store, so I thought it was very cute. What do you guys think about this? This is so cute. And I love that it is like, you could tell it's vintage because it just has that old school, like vintage look to it. So that's why I had to get it, but I thought this was so cute. Our next Vixens is this vintage perfume. It is by Armalou. Once again, it is made in the USA. And guys, look how look how pretty this is. Like it's giving me that old 1900s Victorian vibe. So I thought the antique perfume Armalou will go really beautiful on my vanity. So I thought this was cute, and I wanted to get it. And I love the rose detail inside the uh, on top of the. Uh, perfume thing and my mom she used to have one of these all on her vanity and so I was like you know what I want to get something similar like that or identical like it because I love I loved all her old things so I thought this was very cute do you guys have ladies do you guys have anything like this on your vanities do y'all have like like old perfume um holders and stuff like that on your vanities and decor all right, next, guys, is this vintage glassware, depression glassware. This is one of the glasswares that I got. It's like a little cup, like a little uh, um, cup holder, not cup holder, but this is like a little, uh, like a little bowl that you could put like sauce or something into it. But I thought this was cute. Out of all the dish, like the little glasswares I did get, this is like my favorite one. It's a, it looks like a little champagne bottle that you can just drink with, you know. I thought this is really, really cute. And this is, I love the decor. I wish I could find more of these, but I was only able to find one. So I had to snag this little baby up. But it's so cute and little. I thought it was adorable. And then on top of that, I got this. Now, this is another depression glass. This has... A, like a little handle right here so i'm assuming this is like something you put like a sauce or serving something to serve with but i thought this is so cute and this i love the detail on this as well so this is really pretty and then i got two different glasswares of depression glass both of them are like the same size but they both have like a different type of uh design to it so i thought this was very cute and then i found a bigger depression glass right here and i was like you know what i'll get this as well but none of them match but i still wanted them anyway but i thought this was really cute and and you know cool because i have no depression glass so i thought this was cute but do you guys have any depression glass or does y'all family members have any depression glass let me know because i see my grandmother she has some some pieces of the dep depression glass but they were green and orange i think they were from the 70s so i don't know these i do know are from the 50s most of my stuff in this haul is like from the 50s or from or a little uh a little older so that's just you know what i wanted to show you guys but i thought this is really cute and i'm trying to find depression glass plates so ebay and etsy guys are your best bet all right, Vixens, next, this came in a set, but I got some vintage Sirocco. I got us some cherubs. Um, I'm gonna probably put this in my bathroom, but I thought these were really cute. I wanted to, you know, include this, but ain't these cute? I got these for only $8, so I had to get them. And this is the back, this is the front, and they are so cute. 
I love these. I got this off of eBay. Next Vixens is this cute little vase. I found this off of eBay. This only cost me like $2. But this was so cute, guys. And usually these run, I've seen them run for 16 to 20 bucks. But this is such a cute little vase. It's giving me 19, it's from the 40s. I do know this is from the 40s. But um, it's giving me like, uh, I don't know. There's this, the uh, Grand For uh, Floridian Hotel. Florid is it Floridian? Grand Floridian Hotel in Michigan. And this has... Um, I noticed I've seen some vases similar like this on their uh, tables. But um, this is so pretty, guys. I had to get this. It's so cute and little. I want to find me another one so I can have, like, matching sets. All right, next, Vixens, is more Sirocco. Sirocco. Is Sirocco or Sirocco? Sirocco, guys. I got these two sets. I'm going to probably put these on my in my bathroom or my living room. I don't know yet, but I had to get these. I'm going to uh, paint them more rose gold and like add something to these because I want them to like, I don't know, I, I, these are too matte for me, but I'm going to do like a DIY project with these and do something with these. But yeah, I this is Sirocco. This was made in, because it has a copyright on the back of this. MCM um, XX11 Sirocco. So I don't I think these are 70s. I don't know. I don't know what time frame these this period came from. It didn't say when I got these, but I thought these were so beautiful. And I want to include these into my bathroom decor. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any Sirocco or anything in your homes? All right, Vixens, next is this oil and vinegar set. It is by Pyrex. I found this at an antique store. It still has, like, a little tag on it. I got this for only $6.99, so I thought this would have been so cute to have in my kitchen. And it's vintage, guys. This is so pretty. I've seen this on Etsy, and this rent, someone wanted $30 for these. So I got this for a steal and i thought this was really pretty to have and the top comes off really easily so i do like that part and it's just really pretty to look at like look at them they're really pretty i love like ugh, i just love vintage home decor they don't make them like they used to but this is really really pretty our next vixens is this vintage phone now one of my subscribers says she had the same phone as i do and i was like oh wow that's so that's so cool so i found this phone and i'm going to have this in my living room and i like how it looks it just has that old school 1930s 20s vibe i have a pink vintage phone that's gonna go in my vanity room in youtube space but um, I thought this was a really cute uh, phone to have as decor. But I do want to use this phone. I, I think this would be such a cute phone to use. And I like that it's a dial, a, a dial phone. So I do like that too about it. I, I know there was something that was supposed to go right here, but I don't know. But um, yeah, do you guys have any, do you guys use vintage or old school phones in y'all homes? And if y'all do, what do y'all use to hook them up with? How do y'all get them to work? Like... Tell me what what do you guys do in the in the comments below. Our next vixens is this old school uh, uh, iron that I found at the thrift store. I thought this was so cute. It is by Black and Decker. Um, this hasn't even been used, and it's pretty. It's really pretty, and it's not even you know it hasn't even been used. It's brand new, so this is really pretty, and I really like it, guys. This is by Black and Decker. And their stuff retail a lot. I looked at this up on Amazon, and this this was like 40 bucks, I think, on Amazon. So yeah, this is what I got. And I always wanted one of them old school like irons to iron your clothes with. And this sucker is heavy. It is very heavy, but this is what it looked like. Do you guys use any old school appliances? All right, Vixens, now this is like a nice little mini haul of angels that I got. This big first one right here is really big, guys. It's a candle holder. And I like the cherub. Guys, I have been into collecting cherubs. I don't know why. I just want them around my house because they're so beautiful. But this is one of them. And then here is another cherub uh, ring holder. 
Um, all this came in a set. So when I bought this, this was like a churro haul and I had to get it, but I got two of these. It all came in this haul that was included on eBay. Guys, I got this all for $30 and this stuff retails more than that. So I was able to get these and then I got this cute little angel right here that I can put around and it's meant to hold something. I don't know what it's meant to hold, but I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna see if anyone has, you know, these type of angels and if you put something for them to hold, but I don't know. And then I got this little cherub right here. This is just decor. Um, these little baby cherubs is just like little decor, little angel, decor angels. Now this is not all by the same, like, uh, uh, what can I say same designer because some of these angels look different than the other ones but this one is more made out of pottery and the other one is made out of uh the other cherubs this is made out of like pottery like a uh, clay pottery and the other cherubs is made out of a harder uh material so this is how these babies look and then this is one more one more little cherub and then this is another couple hand candle holders. Now they're not perfect. Uh, some of them are chipped, but I didn't care. I still wanted them, but I got some two candle holders right here with the little cherubs on it. And then this one right here, I do have to fix cause my clumsy self dropped it. So I have to fix this baby right here. She's missing her wing, but this is how it looks in the front. And if I was just to show you guys the front, you wouldn't even know that she's broke, but here's the wing. I do know I can glue this back cause I looked it up. I did some research, so I know I can glue this back on, but myself dropped it and the wing came off. But um, this is how she looks. And I thought she was very, very pretty. But yeah, this is like a bunch of just cherubs and angels. I love them. My vixens next is this big mirror guys i my grandmother had three of these in her home when i seen this i started crying and i had to have one this is a beautiful lamp it still works all of the things that i have vixens still work but this is one of the big purchase items that i got from the antique store and i had to have it for myself my grandmother had three hers was red creamy white and one i think green another color but she had these around her home i had to have this for myself do you guys have any lamps like this and if y'all do have any lamps like this um do y'all family members have lamps like this let me know i want to know you guys home decor and stories and stuff but this is so beautiful guys it has the floral detail on it this is just beautiful they do not make lamps like these anymore and this is pretty light to be how the size it is it is pretty light but i love All it right, vixens last but not least this is the last piece of my huge antique haul but i got this huge painting look how huge this painting is vixens this is the last kit the first kiss by William Barahu or Bargaru. I can't say their name properly, but I thought this was very, very pretty. I had to include this in this haul, Vixens. But this is how it looks. And this is really, really, really big. If you was to come up close to this, like yeah, this covers day near my whole body. And it's huge. I had to get this at the antique store, guys. This was one of my best finds a picture this size runs for 60 bucks easy and more so i was able to snag this baby for like 32 so i'm very happy with this purchase it does have a few scratches on it so i'm very happy um you know i you know that doesn't bother me it is an antique i do want to put a glass over it and have a different frame but this is a very beautiful picture and i love the, the cherub and the nymph kissing. What do you guys think about this picture? And do you have any art hanging around in your home? Hey, Vixen, so that is it. I hope you guys love this huge vintage antique haul. This was a lot of stuff. I'm glad I showed you Vixens, but I wanted to show y'all because I was so excited on getting my hands on all these items. So I hope you guys like it. 
Thank you guys for following me, showing me support, and I will see you babies soon. Bye, Vixens.